round two fight all right this is one of the ones where I actually do need to do the math uh, on the play I think we have to send this one back I really hate mulliganing it just destroys your win percentage when you do like we need two draws to, to hit a land we're, we're actually somewhere close to 70% to hit a land and it doesn't matter which one it is because the gifted Aetherborn is fine I think I've almost talked myself into this one because like a blue gives us the one four lifelink a black gives us the gifted Aetherborn if we rattle off two lands in a row we're actually curving out rather well it does mean I need to play out the fourth bridge prowler for very little value but I should hit a land in two draw steps the problem is I've only got one draw step to hit it yeah that's it I'm, I'm about 50% to hit and I don't think the power level of this is such that I need to do that this I think we can get behind it's at least okay I don't know if that's going to be good here or not and I'd kind of rather just run into lands like if minus one minus one is good we've got a bunch of servos to take care of that TTT -t -t. okay Uh, Aether Swooper is a little more likely to be able to get in. Some argument for playing the black card. So if I hit another um, island, I can, you know, curve out with the two black cards. Uh, but I was planning on drawing a swamp anyway, so it's not that big a deal. So many servos. Ah, you plan on salvaging, I see. Do we plan on just killing our opponent? Like, I'm certainly playing the Sneer Thopter. The question is whether I attack for one here. Um, if they're at 18 and I'm dealing for a turn... It kind of matters because of the Drake, and I'd kind of be happy trading this for either of those, I guess. Because I, I think they just take it. If they trade these and have a 2-2, I kind of don't care. Like, they're looking to go off on some shenanigans with sacrificing dudes and hidden stockpiles, and I'd like them to be dead before they have the opportunity to do that. I'm making this attack because I think they're going to take the one. And if they trade it for either of these, I'm kind of happy with it too. But mainly because I have a second. So like one big threat isn't the end of the world. That's a battle. That's a battle. Game plan gonna change a little bit here. Basically, too, we've got our hand deployed and they don't. So can we move that into an advantage? Uh, we can via a removal spell for the ninth bridge patrol potentially that's I'll take cards that are never attacking for 100 Alex all right low on the stuff that can do the thing we got that blocked so it's can we peck them to death for three a turn again feel like I could get a hit and a hit with this aether poisoner but probably need to hold it back here Yeah. 
I've been burned more for holding lands than pretending like I've got something when I don't. So I'm just going to run that one out there. Sramadam. A ding dong. Aw. My poor Drake. That Drake had a future and a family. Black white removal seems to still be a deck. They're going to kill my Aether Poisoner and wreck me with the Ninth Bridge Patrol. I'm not pleased about this. Also not pleased about drawing that land. Again, in my experience, it's better to play out your lands than not. Especially if you have any card draw at all in your deck, and we do. Uh, we've got the Artifact Divination. We've got the Black Puzzle Knot. Mr. Garrison. All right, you got me. That island, though. I can't really afford to kill the Garrison or the SRAM, or this gets to be too big. What we need is something like a Malfunction. Because I do not think we're going to connect 11 times with this to finish the game. We could, but it's not super likely. And that's that's part of what happens when you mulligan, right? Like, again, I've mentioned the podcast like 500 times now. Uh, but it's... When you mulligan, you're starting the game off two for one in limited. It matters a little bit in constructed. Where you need a specific card for a specific matchup, but we kind of don't here. We just need a big thing or a removal spell. Since we don't have either, we got to just take the five. We're actually sort of up on cards, if you think about it. That gives us a fantastic blocker for a lot of the shenanigans here, uh, which is just fantastic. Still going to hit. This thing doesn't have any good blocks. <coughs> Pardon me, just sneezed on the cat. It was worse for the cat than it was for you guys, but I'm still sorry to sneeze with the mic on. Like, we're sort of up cards if you count these as like half a card, right? At this point, I think we probably have to let go of the Servo and the Aether Pooper. Because we've got good blocks with this, and this is holding that back. Like, we don't have a way to win the game right now. But we can find one. Again, if I realistically thought we were going to connect ten times in the air, I would go for that. But I, I don't. I don't believe that's the case. All right, you got me, buddy. I will block your Ninth Bridge Patrol with this guy now. I guess there's no point in blocking one over the other. I was thinking built to last, but built to last wrecks me whichever way I block. And we're, I don't believe in a position to play around it. All right, so Demolition, I can take off the 2 power or the 3-4. Basically, any of the creatures that I draw can blank most of this ground stuff. So I, I kind of feel like if I take this out, I'm taking out a potential card draw in the future. just feels kind of bad to use a Demolition on a 2-2. But I, I think if I'm going to get back in this game, this is probably where it starts. Because currently they're just hitting for three a turn. We can handle that.
we are going to need some help. But again, the opponent sort of two for one does with SRAM, right? They got the garrison going and drew a card while playing the creature, and we were two for one because we mulliganed. And I think like any two cards, we would be good here. I don't think I can afford to wait on this. Because I need to chain this into something else. Ah, it can be that guy. That can at least trade for the night market guard. Ah, conviction, you say? Well, that's unfortunate. I think we just stun lose to that. Which is not something I thought was going to happen often in this format. <laughs> Turns out, I guess waiting on it would have been better. Except we would have been dead. So, that's probably not better. Alright, alright, you got me. So black, white, lots of artifacts, playing conviction. That would imply some revolt cards, although not necessarily say definitely that they have them. Like, I don't mind bouncing their Mr. Garrison unless they have a SRAM in, in play and then it starts to become a problem. Fourth Bridge Prowler looked pretty good. I, I don't know for sure that I want to. We saw a 3-1 and a 1-1, one, one. but I'm a little hesitant to bring in multiples. Uh, they, they were playing their own uh, Perilous Predicament, which I think is fine. We've got enough servos that we should usually have one lying around by the time it's relevant. Scavenger can be good in, in a matchup that I anticipate being grindy and black-white often is. Uh, we've, we've got like some options there like this some card draw and these two some scry here and here card draw here yeah we're good to go we're good to go I, I do want to keep the prowler in against them if I was going to swap it it'd probably be for the other artifact guy and I, I think we just need some artifact density here this is fine it do let us bring dim beats Rawr! We are augmented. It does give us something to do with our mana on turn three if we don't draw anything better. I'd say that's better. I'd say that's better. It would surprise me if I don't want to bond the Quicksmith Spy with the Automaton, but we will see. Ah, that's just a lot safer. That's a lot safer. I think we actually attack first. Well, I would be happy to trade this, I suppose. Because I, I don't need another artifact. So let's draw. Uh, if we stack these triggers right, like so, we scry first and then have the potential to draw it. I don't think I want another land. I've got one in hand. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Alright, we'll send these two. If they want to trade that off, I, I think we'll take that as a, a happy thing. 
Mainly because this should be better in their deck than the Automaton is in mine. Den. So I can play the Quicksmith Home Slice, plan on double blocking or not. I think I like Quicksmith Home Slice. already made our land drop, but I mean, I'm going to do it, so may as well just do it now. It's a good one to have on deck. So we know Alley Evasion is the card that they have, which could make this a 3-3. Three, three. Uh, so I'm a little hesitant to double block here. I, I don't mind trading the Automaton for it. Uh, for the trick, that is. That's interesting. I kind of don't want to trade it here. I guess they're planning on bouncing the conviction. Like, I can't put enough stuff in front of it to block it, so they probably make this attack regardless of what they have. Uh, they could be setting me up for a, a big, massive hit from, like, a... Uh, The Perilous Predicament, where they get my Quicksmith Spy and the Automaton, and I, I just don't want to put myself in that position. If you're going to draw a card, start with drawing a card. Serpent seems pretty good to me. Like, they get to draw cards too, but ours are better. This can be a 4-4, so I could probably attack with it, but, like, they may be happy to trade their turn for me trading it with a goat. I'm just going to get my Serpent going. That means that a Perilous Predicament next turn doesn't truly destroy us. It's just not pretty. And we can keep spying and doing spy things. I feel like we probably got the long game going. Not to mention, we connect with this a few times, they're dead. Like, if they draw this card, I just need to connect with it three times. That seems doable. I think we could do that. Self-assembler. Sure. And they got another. Interesting. Interesting. Alright, so choice is vomit cards on the board or just try to connect with this three times. Like, they've got four, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve... If they're able to clear my board, and like a Perilous Predicament would not be good for me. I'd have to sack the Spy and this, and probably block here. That means I'm taking 1, 7, 8. Yeah, they kill me before I kill them. Would I trade this in my turn for any of their cards? Probably. Because again, I can pump this up three times, making it a 4-4. That means it can't get through this, and it's just wasting all my mana if I do that. So we probably need to get the automaton down and the implement, and be ready to pop the implement. Which, if again, if I'm going to do that, I should probably just do it now. Don't need lands. Uh, that lets me draw more cards. This uses my mana more efficiently, but uh, sure. Let's get into card draw, shall we? 
We clearly don't have enough of it. All right, there's a good target for the removal we're gonna draw into. Yeah, sure, let's draw some cards. Let's draw some more cards. All right. Uh, probably malfunction your dude. I think we're almost stable enough after that to start going in here. I'll take another malfunction. Those are never bad. Got lands for days. That was rather cruel finality. I think we're in a position to get them here. Yeah, taking that out is going to be fair, and it lets me put something on the board while hitting for the damage. I'm not playing around pressure point because I'm really bad at magic. Like, we have malfunction for next turn as well, so I, I think we're in business. You got prowled. Oh no. They got me. That was the alley evasion we sniffed out oh so long ago. don't think they can stop me in time, but we will see. It's going to be hard with me having leaving the dust up. Which is just what we're doing here. Like, they can untap their bird. They can do a lot of cool stuff here. Even draw a card. But I don't think they can kill me, which is the main thing I'm worried about. Battle at the bridge for six? Man, it'd be a shame if there wasn't a target for that. You're going to make it take a little bit longer, but that's fine. All right, they've had enough. So we've seen more of their deck now. It's, it's a lot of removal. Again, we've seen enough X1s that I like one fourth bridge prowler, but like they're going bigger too, so I'm not sure that I want both of them. And the automaton got us in some early damage. I don't think that's a bad thing. So I kind of don't want to take that out. The automaton's a little bit worse on the draw, right? Because it's not like we're super mega going for it with these guys. It's like it might do something. I, I kind of want to take it out for a Janjeet sentry. Or a Dukara Scavenger. Just something that does something. Like, remember, we've got four artifacts here. 
that count for these, which is plenty. Just plenty. Yeah, I, I think I like that plan because this guy's just not really so hot when we're drawing. It is a mana sink, which I like. But again, the deck's got mana sinks in plenty of ways to draw cards. By mana sinks, I basically mean this and this, but I mean, that counts. The fin hauler's not crazy either. I could potentially take it out for what? For what? Not really anything. But like we've got some great stuff to bring back and a lot of death touchers, but I think this is where I want to be for the final game. This is one of the, the draws where you need to recognize that mulliganing is just bad for you in limited. This is not a particularly great hand, um, but it's still certainly keepable. We'll play out a swamp first just in case we draw our Aetherborn dude. Off the top, we would like to be able to play that. It's not like they're so aggressive that they should wreck us here. Not that he says as they draw a 3-1, but sure. That's If I had seen this earlier, we might have been interested in that other fourth bridge prowler, but that's fine. We can block it with the drake. I think there's very little chance that they would like to trade that for a drake. Man, how good would that fourth bridge prowler have been, eh? But the joke's on them, they took a damage. Oh no. Oh no, 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 no. This is not actually that bad because we've got an answer for the ninth bridge patrol, but we, we need to stabilize pretty quickly here. Like you had to get to blink this guy, grow that guy, draw a card every turn. We kind of need our prowler. I think because I've already got good, good looks, I actually want to play this puzzle knot looking for the two, three death touch. I don't think I have anything for double blue that, that works. Or that I would need a blue. I, I guess an Aether Swooper, but it, it's not really even blocking. All right, this gives us an eventual plan. That's a lot of card draw for them to have over there. They still haven't quite drawn out of their mulligan, but they're getting close. All we can do here is prevent three and take five. But uh, I think we probably have to malfunction the ninth bridge patrol next turn and then just put it to two a turn. And we're almost out of the woods. Sure. All right, a glint sleeve siphon of our of our own is actually not all that useful here. I don't really want to bounce anything that they have on board, um, but we've still got blocks here. We're just taking two a turn here, so I think I actually need to malfunction this. And then see if we can stabilize from there. It, it will eventually get pretty big, but now that they use that decommission on a puzzle knot, we can be, I think, pretty happy here. I kind of feel like they should pop, pop the map. Like, you've got revolt on board if you need it. Then they played a fin hauler. No, battle at the bridge. Okay. This is not good. I'm just never really able to stabilize, unfortunately. 
So I can play my own siphoner and bounce their their siphoner, meaning they don't get to draw a card on their upkeep. And then next turn play the Fin Hauler after making a block here. And, and I could draw something even better. Yeah, if I'm looking for that, again, we'll keep the Death Touch guy as an option. I'm not too proud to play out a, a naked Quicksmith Spy. Like, we're pretty far behind here. But we can at least slow down the card drawing. Or just be dead. Wow. Well, like I said, them mulliganing and us not mulliganing gave us a good chance to win. But clearly not a guarantee. Clearly not a guarantee. Yeah, we are just dead. All right, we'll take it. Let's see if in classic Travis fashion uh, we can 2-1 this draft league. Because that's usually where my drafts end up, is at 2-1s. <laughs> Thanks for tuning in. I'll see you for the final round in just a moment.